reading from the book of Samuel. When King David sat in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in the house of Sidor, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David. Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? Thus said the Lord of hosts, I took you out of the pasture from caring sheep to be a ruler of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them so that they may dwell therein, a place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did before. From that day, I will appoint judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies, and the Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes, and you rest with your fathers, I will raise up your ear after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me. Your throne will stand firm forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which has been hidden from eternity, which now has been made clear through the scriptures of the prophets according to the precept of the eternal God for the obedience of faith known among all nations to God, the only wise, through Jesus Christ, to him be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But having heard this, she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. You will be great, and you will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall have no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relationship with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and he shall be called the Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren, because no word shall be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.